Hello and welcome to another uh, exciting Let's Play from me, uh, Kubert. Uh, well, uh, this time I'm going to look at playing Manhunter 2, which uh, I played about as much as Manhunter 1. I got this in a pack with Police Quest 2, and uh, what was the other one I got? Um, well, Sylphie. It came with Police Quest 2 and Sylphie. So that was, uh, that was a good deal. Um, so yeah, without any further ado, I think, well, I, I, oh, I should tell you, I think I first played this, I think Christmas 89 is when I got it? Yeah, yeah, that would make sense. So Christmas 89, so I finished it in 1990, basically. Um, so, I'm also still doing Rise of the, uh, Dragon. An interesting thing, thing to notice is this came out in the end of 89, Rise of the Dragon is two years later, compared to the, uh, graphics between the two, there's quite a bit of a jump. But this is still an awesome game, so let's get started! September 4th, 2004, New York City. Oh, let me just reduce that sound a bit. Here I am on an alien ship that can barely fly. It was just a few days ago that I was forced to become a manhunter for the orbs in New York City. Soon, a trail of blood led me to a ruthless killer. I am now chasing him west as we descend into a new day. He has killed too many. I cannot let him get away. It's kind of weird having him communicate, because he's you. But I guess I have to sort of establish the plot for uh, people who didn't play the first one. Am I supposed to hit something? I think I'm supposed to hit something. Enter. I miss you. I'm going back home to the west coast. Oh, look. It's the Sierra Mountain. Huh? Huh? The Sierra Mountain, kids. A little further down. Copyright 1989, Manhunter San Francisco. Doot doot. Doot doot. Doot doot. Yeah, there is a way to enable Tandy emulation with the three channel sound. Uh, my friend Renee was telling me, so I have to figure that one out because it does actually have better Tandy soundtrack than PC soundtrack. And I think the emulation would be better. So there you can see the uh, Trans-America Pyramid and some building that's covered in dirt for some reason. And there's a hippie wagon. Oh, oh, there's a bit of an accident there. Ah, what a jerk. He's still drooling. I think that's, is that the same picture from the last time? And this is, um, uh, is this a station? Or a pier? I don't know. I'm not an expert. We'll find out. So, Phil knocked us uh, down. We crashed, and he's landing somewhere in Orb Central. You'll notice the orbs in uh, this city have two eyes, which I didn't like. I, I must admit that's a design decision they made that I, I had problems with. <clears throat> I liked the way the orbs looked originally. What is with that guy's face? Does he have, like, glasses on? Is that what that's supposed to be? These look like Police Quest background characters. Oh, here, here's a guy wearing socks. Got an ID card. Manhunter 003, a loyal servant of the Orb Alliance, Peter Brown. <clears throat> this is very, uh, wizard. Sorry, I have a cold. This is very Wizard of Oz. Um, he's got a mad, too. Let's look up this Peter Brown fellow. So, a 22 year old. Wow. That seems young now. We just killed him, accidentally. He lives on Lombard Street, though. That's pretty cool. Uh, okay. Well, let's see. If they have Phil Cook. Nope. Bye. <clears throat> so let's see. Uh, since we have his mad, since coincidentally we landed on another Manhunter, we can sort of pick up his, the uh, in his investigation from where he left off, if you're curious. Um, it's a bit of a logical leap, really. Why would you do this? 
you're trying to fight Phil, you're not trying to solve crimes, but let's go see the crime. There's a bank in Canton, of Canton, Canton, can't like Cantonese. <clears throat> These people walk into a bank, tracking is blocked, there's a third person coming. So one thing I kind of like is the, the difficulty of the mad tracking seems to be pretty equivalent. Uh oh, look out guys. It's basically like starts in terms of difficulty exactly where it left off, so it doesn't have the same ramp up as it did last time. Oh, is he okay? I guess we'll find out later. So these guys are going off. They're zooming in. They're going to a warehouse. Oh, yeah. So once again, uh... oh, 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 there's some more fighting. These guys aren't friends. I assume that's fighting. It could be sex or dancing. Or... So this guy is leaving him in the warehouse. And he's going to that. Oh, is that maybe that's where it is? The ferry building. So he goes to the ferry building. Goes inside. Hangs out there for a minute. He goes over there. Uh, so he did something in the ferry building. What exactly did he do? We can't say. Now he's uh, leaving. And, oh, he's traveling fast. Well, that's probably a good thing. Then he goes to the Embarcadero Fountain. So who are these people we're following? And what are we doing in San Francisco? At least it all has to do with all the, uh, you know, the big tourist spots, so. You know, we're going to have a fun tour of the city. <clears throat> Since this is a tracker, we can track all three people. The next person I'm going to track is the guy who comes this way. If, uh, if you're playing this game, I recommend... Oh. Hey. Hey. I need my control back. basically putting it where people are going to be since sometimes you don't have a lot of time and since there's no real mouse control pointing and clicking can be pretty tricky target movement ends at this point so let's try that again and deal with uh, number two here new target is tagged I really feel like I should be using the mouse, but I can't. Okay, we can skip this. You know what happens. So, we go back to the warehouse. Yeah, this game got really kind of ravaged by critics, because, uh, and this came out when, like, right before when Commander came out, right before games were, like, uh, Kings Plus 5 came out, right before games were really switching to VGA, and this wasn't even high-res EGA, this is, like, low-res 1987, 1986 EGA. But, as time goes on, those VGA games still look bad, I mean, now look bad, and these, this game doesn't look that much worse, and you can appreciate the art that they put in, rather than just not using the latest graphics engine, so. I think this game, aid, uh, a time has been kind to this game versus the, some of the like the VGA Sierra games, which look terrible. And there are good VGA Sierra games. I think I've talked about this before. Like uh, Space Quest Four, I think is artistically the best VGA game they did. And uh, Dagger Brown and Raw looks good. But there's some VGA games like uh, the Police Quest One remake and Space Quest. All the remakes that just ugh. Ugh. much rather play the EGA versions. Um, so yeah, it depends on how well the artistry is done, how it fits into the engine that they're used, rather than the actual technology of the engine. So, I'm happy with it. So he did his little course around the maze. You can always replay this later. As you can guess, we're going to have to use this uh, information when we go to the warehouse ourselves. So yeah, you might be asking, why are we solving crimes? I, I can't tell you. Manhunter felt bored and it's like, well, I'm in a new city. Might as well do some good. So where's he going there? 
a lot of a lot of uh, places to unlock for the first uh, for the first day to a lot of stuff to do. I still feel kind of bad for killing. Well, I guess technically it was Phil that killed Peter Brown. It wasn't us. All right, that's it. And with this, I am going to leave you and uh, start my next video. So uh, thanks a lot, and I'll see you next time.